season's greetings. Let's talk about too many spirits while we- wait, dude. Let's drink too many spirits, right? Yes. Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. It's, it's too, too many, many spirits! spirits. This is a show where we drink our drinks and review your holiday horror stories. We're going to be shooting four episodes of this show, all of them tonight. By the fourth episode, we're going to be <laughs> hammered. <laughs> you go fuck yourself. I'm going to fucking kill you! <laughs> Do I make you horny, baby? Do I? And as always, we'll be enjoying a tasty beverage from our cocktail maestro and Santa's little helper, Stephen Lynn. It's your friendly neighborhood local Stephen bartender coming in hot. The cocktail maestro. I mean, we established that title mm -hmm. in season one. I feel like that's for season eight, Stephen. Okay. Our second cocktail for the day brought to you by Stephen Lim's brain. It's called the Red Nose Rain Beer. Whoa! Oh, two good. for two on the titles, that's buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's pretty much a whiskey sour with beer. If you want to make it at home, follow along. Okay. <laughs> First up, we got a bourbon, and I'm gonna got my Jemison. Two ounces of bourbon. Went to a pirate. I like it. One ounce of bourbon. You know, Stephen, since you're in an elf outfit, let's hear your best elf impression. Wee! <laughs> I have an elf! We're gonna throw in three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Oh, squeeze wow. it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, Stevie. And then we also need simple syrup. I prefer, I really do pretend to prefer a complicated syrup, personally. Why? Why? It's just a joke. It, it's, it's, it's just a syrup joke. Oh, that was a joke. <laughs> Bartenders <laughs> usually laugh at people's jokes. <laughs> yeah, you wanna tip me? No. Hey, here's a tip. Keep your mouth shut, Rain. Right? <laughs> we got some ice here, and, and we just shake it up. <laughs> oh, shake yeah. Yeah. And to top it off, we're going to garnish this with a cherry. Oh, mm. I like that. The Rudolph the Red Nose Rain Beer. Boop. Add some bitters to garnish. And then, finally, make it rain with the beer. <laughs> this, my friends, is the Red Nose Rain Beer. Did I miss anything? No, I didn't. That's good. That's good. It's a good drink, guys. I'm, I'm not drunk. I have not had a sip of alcohol in months. Alrighty. We have our red nose rain beer. Yeah, red like nose oh, rain. Oh, with a cherry inside. Red nose it. rain beer. That's awful. Your hands are too much. As always, we'll be using the spirit gam. This is uh. Do you need help? Yeah, I can't put it on with my claws. Yeah, yeah. I Can you get that on there? You know what? Quite tasty. Boozy. 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 Right? Concur? I like it. I think this one's pretty good. I would give it a uh, 6 out of 10 spirits. Ooh. <laughs> Did you just pick your nose? No. It's kind of refreshing. Uh, it doesn't taste like garbage like the other one. <laughs> so that's a plus. <laughs> mm. It's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. Uh, I'll give it a, a, a 5 out of 10. That's an F. If you're one. Yeah, I got that. Uh, Steven, I have a question for you. Yeah. You're our cocktail maestro. No. Yeah, you are. You're the cocktail no. maestro. Local, local neighborhood bartender. Local friendly neighborhood bartenders. You got any opinions on that? <laughs> this comes from user Sophia underscore Renee on Instagram. When I was seven. I'm trying to decide what voice I'm going to do here. Well, land on one. When I was 13. Better, better. My family moved from California to Idaho. Rough move. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to experience our first white Christmas that year. A couple nights before the big day, yeah, I felt like someone was watching me. I turned to look and saw what looked like a girl standing under the street lamp. Could have been a girl standing under the street lamp. Uh, last time I checked, there are girls in Idaho. Freaked out. I went to grab my parents. But when we opened the front door, she was gone. Were you about to vomit? 
A burp got stuck in my throat. Okay. That's not part of the story. I don't know why I'm doing the voice. No. Oh, there's a bubble in my throat. Oh, I oh, hate no. that. You hear this? Oh. Well, don't waste it. Don't waste it. And their only footprints on the freshly fallen snow was ours. That's it. Do you want me to reread the end of it? No, you definitely don't have to. You know. Oh. Snow's a scary I thing. I thought it was gonna go far. This is a Southern Californian. You take someone like you, you send them to Idaho. Oh my God, you'd be peeing your pants every day. What was that? I wouldn't be Ooh, peeing my pants. I'd just be bummed out that I wasn't a, in California anymore. Mama, Papa, s s ground is white. Okay, okay. You know we have snow in California. You do know that, right? What at the Glendale Galleria? <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. No, in Big Bear. Uh, three. Three. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll go through it. It sounds like a look. Yeah, I gotta say, all that really happened was they saw somebody under a street light, and yeah. then they went out their front door and they saw, hey, that person's not under that street light. That's anymore. right. Must be a ghost. Also, they were like, our our footprints were the only footprints. Well, maybe it snowed some more. That that is how snow works. That's how snow works. That's how snow works. Even you know that. Oh, that's a popper. <laughs> Next story. It's from Sokka's Bergara. That's your name. Around the same time last year, my cousin got married. This sounds like the middle of his story. What's <laughs> <sighs> Oh my God. <laughs> Around the same time last year, my cousin got married. Congrats. Congrats oh, got to your cousin. Piece of ice there. We were at his house post party when we heard a bunch of strange ass noises from the roof. The oh, walls. I thought, you, I thought they were gonna say they heard a bunch of strange ass noises from the room. And I was about to say, they bang it. There's a difference between strange ass noises and strange ass noises. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that like cousins. They're not cousins. They Cousin, ain't cousins. Hey, look, cousins are weird. What are they doing? How come they're not your siblings? What? Why are... <laughs> <laughs> What the f <laughs> What, I'm related to these people and their children, but they're not my siblings? Oh, they're my parents, siblings, children? Huh? <laughs> you know? No, I don't What's know. What's the deal? <laughs> what, the <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's just my stand Wait, oh man, we already gotta have a log break. Hey, oh, what's wait, the we gotta, oh, we got a log break! Oh, wait, hold on. I usually do yeah. this in between stories, oh, fuck. but this oh, wait, is important. Oh, wait, oh, wait. No, 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 we'll do it right now! All right, I'll get do back it live! Up. I don't actually want to get too close to the fire because I think this hair is very flammable. Hey, you do look like Weird Al Yankovic got possessed by the devil. It's Yankovic. Is it Yankovic? Yeah. I've been living a lie. When you think about it, though, it's like, what's the deal with cousins? So they heard some strange ass noises from the roof. The walls were really thin, so it wasn't worrying. After maybe an hour, the noises began again. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> just, <laughs> huh? just imagine... Just like you're staying in the house with another couple and they're just banging so hard that you think your house is haunted. <laughs> After maybe an hour, the noises began again. And this time we heard loud growls. Oh shit. <laughs> we went upstairs, saw a trail of blood, almost fainted. All that ominous shit. Freaky. Turns out it was just a cat with a mouse it killed. LOL, ghosts don't exist. Uh, five out of ten spirits. I think it's center of the road. Now, some of this might have come from my own embellishment, because I had a blast working our way through this story. A relatively short story that it took us a very long time to get through. Yeah. I'll admit it. I give it seven out of ten spirits. Seven out of ten. That's right. Seven. I love stories with a little kitty cat twist. What's the last line of the story? LOL, ghosts don't exist. Yeah, that's very good. Who wrote that, a Shaniac? <laughs> uh, maybe. Oh, wasn't it written by a Bergara? Yeah, that's it right. It is from Sokka's- You gotta take the Bergara out of your name if you write something as foolish as ghosts aren't real. LOL, ghosts don't exist. You know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna dock it down to three out of 10. I just realized they, they ended that uh, with that foolish statement. Nasty, a nasty that, man. That can, don't point. He's only gonna get nasty. Don't point right? at the camera with your little demon. Ryan, why don't you uh, give us a story? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh, that hurt. 
Ow, I almost pulled a hammy doing that. User Hedvig Sophia Karlstrom. This comes from Instagram. Grimetown. One time I got up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water. Sounds like Dobby. And when I was about to leave the kitchen. <laughs> Is that Dobby? Uh, I, I don't know. I just did a voice. Sounds like Dobby. And when I was about to leave the kitchen, I saw a weird shadow in the shape of a person. That's definitely Dobby. My opinion, actually. I do like Dobby. Harry Potter. Yeah, man. Harry okay, Potter I just wanted to hear Dobby. you go all the way into it. Yeah, okay, good, take yeah. it away. Yeah. yeah. And when I was about to leave the kitchen, I saw a weird shadow in the shape of a person. I assumed it was either my own shadow. Uh-huh. <laughs> or a shadow from a chair or something. Yeah. Does this person look like a chair? Is that me or a chair? Is that me or a chair? That Sometimes it's hard to tell. How's it going, America? Welcome back to our favorite game show, Me, me or, or a, a Chair! chair. <laughs> and this is a game show where, of course, I point out a picture and you tell me if it's me or a chair. That's funny, Let's get man. back into the story. That's good. That's a good bit. <laughs> I assumed it was either my own shadow or a shadow from a chair <laughs> or something. Yeah. But I moved around and pushed nearby chairs around and the shadow remained. <laughs> Look at this person. <laughs> That's a hard time. Like, I don't know what that shadow is. Maybe if I move around. Huh, no. <laughs> Let me push these chairs. Can you imagine just being a roommate in that house trying to go to sleep and all you hear is <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's an incredible what chair movie. What the fuck no, no, are they do- Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Stop. Be proud of that chair moving impression. Have you done that before? I haven't. I you haven't. just busted that out. I just I That's uh, really good, Ryan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I worked on it. Put uh, that on just, your resume. Just a second. Put that on your LinkedIn. But I moved around and pushed nearby chairs around into me. Yeah, yeah. There was nothing else nearby that could be the reason for it to be there. I then proceeded to give zero shits and went back to bed. If it was a ghost, they weren't doing any harm, so I just let them be. LMAO. Uh, well, okay, look, we love an LMAO. We do, we do. I think it's a great way to end any story. Yeah. If Moby Dick ended with LMAO. Then yeah, I would say fucking cheers to that. Wait, wait, oh, we could do a unison one. We could do, well, not towards each other, okay? You know, I regret that. See what you're doing to me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Three. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give that one an eight out of 10. Eight here. out of 10? What are you doing? I'm just doing me. Okay. You know what? You, your chair impression was so good. I'll let you get away with it. You'll let me. <laughs> Whatever, dude, I'll do what I want. Hey, I'm a loose cannon, you, you know what I mean? Permission. You all know I'm Watcher's bad boy. Yeah, you are. We, like, we let you think you're Watcher's bad boy. Oh, I just yeah. realized we could see your, your denim knee jeans. Yeah, now they just look like go-go boots. <laughs> These are supposed to be you up look like a go-go dancer. Yeah. You look like an extra from the film Austin Powers. Do I make you horny, baby? You look like a nightmarish Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna have my cherry now. We're gonna all watch this, huh? <laughs> oh, I could've gone without the tongue. Mm, that's good. One more, and then it's mailbox time. Wait, should we add another log that we should? Put a log in. Whoa, 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 double log break? Look, this doesn't have to be a full log, it's a mini log break. Ain't that fun? Oh, ho, ho, ho. did Ooh, you see that? Yeah, you got it. It's a mini log, this is not an official log break. This is not log bros. Oh, whoa, 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 careful, okay, careful. Okay. This is just log bro. We just, one log, and that's it. One log, one bro. Log bro. Oh, uh, yeah, give me another log, cool boys. Oh, mama, that's what Papa likes. <laughs> Sparks hurt my fingers. I'm staying in my chair. Well, now that I have your attention, I, the fire, would like to tell you good folks about our sponsor for this app, Surfshark VPN. As you all know, we spend our lives online, whether it's checking email, streaming, or sliding into the DMs of other hot fire pit honeys. We'd like to think our information is safe, but as our online footprint increases, so does our need for proper security. Surfshark is a VPN service that protects your information by encrypting all the data that you send through the internet. Right now, Surfshark has a really good deal. By using my link in description and promo code, you will get 84% off. 
Plus, you'll get four months for free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Damn, bro chachos, that sounds like a fire promo if you ask me. Anyways, back to the show. Also, can I get one more log? Come on, just one more. Please. Come on, ghoul boys, don't ignore me. Hey, don't cut back to the stories, no! Okay, here we go! <laughs> this is from... And nothing but the truth. One Christmas, my grandfather surprised my grandma with tickets for an Alaskan cruise. Oh shit. Old people love cruises. And she said he wasted his... <laughs> <laughs> she said he wasted his money and then tore them up. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> and put, put them in the trash. <laughs> A simple return them would have sufficed. My uncle started singing Silent Night very badly to try and ease the tension. <laughs> it didn't work. No shit, it didn't Could I, I'm just gonna sing Silent Night slowly. And we'll Wait, just... you be grandpa. I'm grandma. Yeah. Really sell it. Yeah, let me get into character as grandpa. Yeah, not not like you did last season, because that uh, grandpa would... Oh, okay, it's going to be the same as last season. Yeah. <laughs> I always say, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm old. All right, you're already grandpa. Yeah. And I'm grandma. You know, I know how much, how hard you've worked this year, and I think you've... You've earned these. So I got us a couple- Yes! What is your gift for me? I, I, got, I got us a couple tickets to Alaska on a cruise. As a token of I pre- <laughs> What? No, no. An Alaskan cruise? <laughs> Yeah, an Alaskan crew. <laughs> You've wasted your money! Oh. 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10 story. Kicks ass. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a... 10 out of 10. That's, that's too many spear! Oh, fucking shit! What if we, what if we, that's a 10, that's too many spe Oh yeah, okay, so, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a 10, 10. That's, that's too, too many, many spirits! spirits. Yeah. Beautiful. That, that was like... Ice dancing. That felt good. That felt really good. Almost as good as this empty glass. All right, the time has come! Stephen Lim. Oh, sorry. Wait, do you want more? What, this is the last story. Okay, it's the fine, mailbox. Right, it's right, mailbox right, right, time. Right, right, right. Is it, oh, it's mailbox time? Folks, this is the last time I'm going to explain it. And the final two episodes, we're not even going to bother. But every episode this season, <laughs> we're going to be taking a letter from the mailbox. Have we selected these at random? Yes, but will the spirit of Christmas make them the best stories out of the bunch? Certainly. This is the grand finale of the episode. This story's gonna be amazing. I think so too. I have a good feeling about it. Ho ho! Ho ho! A ladder! From our mailbox! Ho ho! Ho ho! A ladder! We I hope this story rocks! That was good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Grab it, just fucking grab it. Here, give me that one. Give me this. Hand it over here, bro. Take it away, Bergoo. Shit. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm feeling good about this one. Okay. It's hot to the hand. Yeah, it's, hot. it's hot to the touch. Hot. This comes from user useless underscore paperclip three two eight from Instagram. Once on Christmas Eve, I was sleeping at my grandparents' house. Oh, already scary. And I woke up to see a human sign. <laughs> huh? What? Finish it. Finish this. Sentence. I just didn't expect to see. And I woke up to see a human sized chimpanzee in a bellboy's <laughs> uniform at my bedside. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a funny grandpa. That sounds like a funny grandpa. What the fuck? I hope that's a funny grandpa. I, I don't and know. I hope even more that it's not a funny grandpa. What? And that it's a funny chimpanzee. In a bellboy's uniform. Chimps are funny, but also deadly. A, a chimpanzee in a little, like a little bellboy hat. Yeah. Very fucking funny. You've seen Dunson Checks In. I haven't seen that. He was holding a gun? What the fuck is this story? Did the monkey have a gun? No, he didn't have oh, a gun. Okay. He had something better. He was holding a giant platter of pastries. Oh, well, that's he... so much better than a gun. <laughs> he was holding a giant platter of pastries, 
which he offered to me and only disappeared when I tried to pick one up. Wait! He disappeared? This is the weirdest sleep paralysis demon yeah. I've ever heard of. I didn't know we were going into dream territory. I thought this was a, a funny uh, Grimpep, you know, doing a, doing a bit. Nah, dude, we're four levels deep, bro. Hope they don't get the kick. Are you, t are you, are you telling me we're in unconstructed dream space? Yes. I told my sister and she thinks it was a demon, but I'm pretty sure I was just tired. <laughs> Is that the end? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, right. okay. I'm fucking, that was not a satisfying throw. Let me throw that again. Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna fucking gambit this shit. You beefed it. Pretty good story. A really good story. And we're not just saying that because it came from the mailbox. We don't- This is the, this is we the don't second just pretend time that the mailbox love these stories. has blessed us. The mailbox is blessed Thank us with you, another mailbox. strong uh, finish. What the fuck? Uh, are you? Okay, well, this has been too many spirits. Thank you guys for joining. Next week, we're gonna read more stories and we're gonna get another one from our magical mailbox, unless Shane has Im Im impregnated it. That's some Cronenberg stuff. What would that even look like? I don't wanna know. I'm imagining it now. My mailbox. Oh, now I am too. But you're, you're a kid, but then one of your parents has sex with a mailbox, and it's like, I guess that's my sibling, but it's like a half-sibling, which isn't quite a cousin, but it's not as related to you as a sibling, you know? It's a weird mailbox, baby. You got issues, man. That's all I gotta Something say. To think about. Merry Christmas. Silent night.